dead, so they're fighting against real hard. But it's all good. Still ended up with three Nigerian info, live and danger. And That's right. <laughs> all right, guys. Welcome to Live and Dangerous if you're tuning in for the very first time. And uh, if you've been with us all this while, also, it's all well and good. Um, earlier on, we were talking about Facebook and Instagram banning Donald Trump. And uh, what do you think? Uh, doesn't this sound like the social media regulation that we're proposing in this part of the world? Um, Mark Zuckerberg actually came on today to announce uh, that Donald Trump has been banned from Facebook and Instagram indefinitely. Now, before this, the CEO, the COO, I beg your pardon, of um, Facebook, Sherry Sandberg, announced that he would be banned for 24 hours. Now, Mark Zuckerberg, in a Facebook post, made the following statement. The shocking events of the last 24 hours clearly demonstrate that President Donald Trump intends to use his remaining time in office to undermine the peaceful and lawful transition of power to his ele uh, elected successor, Joe Biden. His decision to use his platform to condone rather than condemn the actions of the supporters at the Capitol building has rightly disturbed people in the U.S. and around the world. We removed the statements yesterday because we judge their effect and likely their intent would be to provoke further violence. Following the certification of election results by Congress, the priority for the whole country must be to ensure that the remaining 13 days in office after inauguration should pass peacefully and in accordance with established democratic norms. Over the last several years, we have allowed President Trump to use our platform consistently with our own rules, at times removing content or labeling his posts when they violate our policies. We did this because we believe that the public has a right to the, the broadest possible access to political speech, even when controversial. But the current, the current content is now speech. But the current content is now fundamentally different involving use of our platform to incite violent insurrection against a democratically elected government. So guys, what do you think? That's what we've been discussing right here on 99.3 Nigeria Info. I'm Daddy Freeze and this is Live and Dangerous and we're taking your thoughts. <laughs> All right, Mr. Frank, thank you. Better put your head in now, yeah? Yes. Okay. Okay, want to start with number one? Thank you very much. Um, right now, uh, I can even read tweets on Twitter. Uh, Lawale Vaughn is saying... Nigeria Info Daddy Freeze, don't mind that bozo. He is not even informed. Humpty Dumpty has lost 60 plus cases and counting in his quest to overrun the election results. What is going on? What is wrong with some people? Hashtag live and dangerous. So nice to see us doing big things on Twitter too uh, with regards to the show and Nigeria Info. Do pardon us when sometimes we get a little too excited because, you know, we get excited right here on 99.3 99 Nigeria Info. It is live and dangerous and this is Daddy Freeze, the man you love. Anyway, I'm not bringing a dying to it so that when the bashing starts, let it only be... Um, <laughs> Ada, do we have any messages on WhatsApp? Any Anybody saying anything on WhatsApp? Oh, yeah. We have one here. The funny thing is that those supporting Trump's inciting statements are the same people that criticize President Buhari for his part in inciting statements for the country, going from Finland. Hmm. Hmm. Word. Word. Nigeria, the cherry-picking nation. We like to cherry-pick everything. We should all be cherry farmers. Wow. We cherry pick everything. Now, I was saying this earlier on that do you guys realize that what happened to Trump is a social media 
regulatory bill or regulation bill. <laughs> oh yeah, his social <laughs> media was regulated. <laughs> now, now, here's some breaking news coming from Trump's camp. Oh, Trump, I just love that dude. He is just a huge comedian. Now, um, Donald Trump is reportedly planning to pardon himself and his family members in the final days of his stay in White House. He is planning to pardon himself. He has reportedly told close aides that he plans to pardon himself and his family members. The news came as Democratic and Republican lawmakers condemned the president's conduct after his supporters stormed the Capitol building during the certification of president-elect Joe Biden's victory in 2020. According to the New York Times, Mr. Trump has specifically asked about the legal implications of giving himself a presidential pardon <laughs> before leaving the White House. Baba no one go jail. Baba no one go prison. One name. Baba, Baba no one. Baba no wait in the wait for him. Baba no wait in the wait for him. He thinks in a play. He thinks in waiting he do yesterday. You could just do and walk away with it. Man, y'all need to be careful. You need to be careful. And my sweet, did you see that is um that is a uh, anti-hydrochloroquine, hydroxychloroquine. The the Lord, the battle is not over. God, uh, keep what's praying. The, what's that her name? What's that her name? I think Stella. Stella, Emmanuel. Stella Emanuel. Yes, Stella. Yes, Stella Emanuel. Yes, Stella. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump, now, Uru Uru guy. He, he, he has not been convicted of a crime, but he wants to pardon himself down. Ah, Nigerian, Nigerian people in America. Eh, carrying Nigerian flag and supporting Trump. All your pastors that prayed for Donald Trump, where are they now? Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Where are they now? <laughs> Nigerian pastors that left Nigerian matter and carried Donald Trump on their head. Meaning you were dragging your own hand, your own luggage on the floor and carrying another person's luggage on the head. I want Bele Janyon help somebody roast his fish. That's what they call Bele Janyon in Yoruba. Nobody you get the fish. But you are you are roasting the fish for somebody else. Una we're done. Eh? How are you all we doing? Are, uh, brother, eh? Let me tell you, eh? If Nigerians were not gullible and um and i'm looking for the right word sheepish and not blinded by sentiment and emotions we will have started challenging our religious leaders by now because how can they pray for trump across hold service and everything and trump still fail? that means your god is a god of failure hello did you hear what i just said if you said that God told you that Donald Trump will be president and he's not president, that your God, you need to change that God. Though. <laughs> because you are worshipping the wrong God and you are gathering people and collecting tithe and offering on the, on, the, on the head of a false God. Show want to end so I can say what I want to say. I know that <laughs> I can quickly say it and run away. You will not see me till Monday again. So let me break your heart. Let me talk about a certain gentleman called Elon Musk. Or Elon uh, Musk. My new crush. Okay. Oh, let, yeah. hey, will you keep quiet? Which crush? Do you know how tall Elon Musk is? Sorry, Elon Musk. Do you know how tall he is? Ah, Elon Musk is looking for a crush that is according to his size. Uh, what, what, Ada, the level of your no. desperation in 2021 is taking another level. No, that means I am not uh, Trump. I am not desperate. I'm just, <laughs> saying, I'm just saying what it is. <laughs> but, uh, let's just be honest about your feelings. I have a crush on this guy. But I don't blame you because, listen, Ada is my sister and Ada loves me very much. If, she, don't know, if uh, Elon Musk should marry her, there's no way I'm not going to collect at least one billion. Ah, if, it, if it is for me to call Ada every day and be crying, Ada, <laughs> things are bad, Ada. <laughs> Ada, things are you are just suffering this Nigeria. You are my sister, you are loving me. <laughs> ah, Ada, please do follow this Elon Musk. I'll be Elon Musk. Now, let me break your heart. Elon okay. Musk 
is irreligious. He doesn't believe in religion and doesn't believe there's any space for religion or spirituality in science. So he yeah. definitely doesn't tithe. He doesn't practice any religion, doesn't believe in religion, doesn't even believe in spirituality. Someone that is planning on securing um, space in another planet because he's not even sure of his head. Now, Elon Musk or Elon Musk in 2016, as of March 2016, he was worth less than Dangote. He was worth 10.7 billion. A year and a half later, in October 2017, Elon Musk, without paying tithe, had doubled his money and was now worth 20.8 billion. By March 2019, a little less than two years later, he didn't make so much money, only two billion. So he was worth 22.3 billion. By April 2020, which was a year ago, he was worth 24.6 billion. Today, in less than one year, he made more than 145 billion. Elon Musk made more than Bill Gates' entire net worth. In one year, without paying tight, without sowing seed, without giving offertory, without buying a jet for a pastor, without dashing any pastor money, he made more money than anyone else in the whole world. As a matter of fact, he made Bill Gates. He went from 20 billion to become the richest man on earth without paying a single money to church. So I want you to take this information you've heard from me today. Oh yes, take this information and go and greet your pastor tomorrow morning. And say, Pastor, Daddy Freeze has shown me some verifiable facts. He has shown me that Elon Musk does not pay tithe because Elon Musk does not even believe in spirituality or religion or any of that. And Elon Musk made $145 billion in less than a year without paying tithe. Who opened the window of heaven for him? Because this is the window of heaven. Oh my God, somebody's saying it's not my business. You're on my page, you're telling me it's not my... If you had to walk, will you be on my page? Sorry for the rest of you, I'm live on Instagram. That's how I give it to them hot. Because if you're looking for a community of people that don't have sense, when you go to Instagram, you see them there. That's why they banned Donald Trump there. <laughs> my show is about to end. I have seven more minutes, so I'm going to miss you and well. And I'm not coming back again till Monday. So let me finish what I'm saying before you start jumping up and down and uh, showing your kangaroo skills. Go and meet your pastor and ask him a truthful question and say Elon Musk made more money than Nigeria as a country in the last... Oh, you did not know? With your five churches on every street, with all your religious buildings and your religious people, Elon Musk made more money than your country. And he doesn't tithe. He doesn't pray. I'm not saying there's anything bad in prayer. There's no place for tithing in Christianity. It's a false doctrine and premises. It, it, it has nothing to do with Christianity. But yes, we're allowed to pray. But here's what I want to tell you, yeah. Prayer is in the revelation equation. It's never in the success equation. Prayer is in the revelation equation not in the success equation so here's the thing elon musk or elon musk he didn't sit down in church the whole of friday night into saturday morning praying for his enemies to die and and all sorts of buffoonery that you'll find along the lagos ibadan expressway if you decide to spend friday night into saturday morning in in one of those places he didn't do none of that 
And there's something I wanted to tell you. The top three richest people on earth, Bezos, Gates, sorry, the top four, Bezos, Gates, Musk, and Zuckerberg. They're all selling technology. They're all selling internet. They're all selling technological advancement. They're not selling holy water. They're not selling Goya oil. They're not selling any of those things. They're not selling you books with prayer points. They are selling technology. Jeff Bezos has the biggest online retail store. What else were you expecting in a pandemic when people can't go shopping? His stock were going to rise astronomically. What about Elon Musk? Elon Musk is building autonomous cars, meaning your car is going to park you. Uh, you, you, you. Imagine you're going to an event, you get to the event, you get out of your car and your car is going to park. And when you're done with the event, you come out and your car is going to come and pick you. It, that can't work without the internet. That's technology right there. He's talking about space. He's talking about um, perpetual energy. He's talking about electricity taking over from petroleum and rendering African nations broke because all many of us have is or are these petroleum products. And then we've got Bill Gates with Microsoft that is on every system. Um, and then, because we're also using Bill Gates right now on Skype, how would he not make money? And then we also have Zuckerberg on Facebook. So, so, so these are the people dominating the world. Uh, and they're not dominating the world by praying from Friday to Saturday. They're not dominating the world by paying fast fruit, which is temper. If uh, Elon Musk were to give fast fruit, the church that would collect that fast fruit, we break. We, as in, the, the pastors go begin carrying guns, show themselves, say one day. <laughs> this... 17 billion. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you need to understand that we've been lied to for too long. We've been lied to for a long time. If you don't pay tight, things will be tight. By now, Elon Musk should be begging for food on the street and not be the richest man on earth. If truly, when you don't tight, things will be tight. I have not tightened in five years. And oh, I thank the Lord for my finances. Oh, the Lord's being good. I, I think when I stopped tithing, he stopped punishing me for giving people who had too much and not remembering to take care of the poor. <laughs> so guys, um... Let's take, do we have space for a phone call? Yeah, we have space for two phone calls. One, just one. All right, we have space for one phone call and it better be good. If it's not good, you take another one. Come on, that was now wrong with your phone line. Keep it short, you have less than a minute. Somebody said the man is worth 185 billion, not 145 billion. Listen to me. He made 145 additional billion to the 24 billion that he had before. Hello? Emma Boro, Emma Boro, Emma Boro, Come, I do be. I cannot hear what you are saying. Oh. Hello. Oh my goodness. I know you mentioned 
Help me ask the brother, uh, Ada. Can you hear me? Help me ask this brother that is right, that is talking about a Christianity that he does not know anything about. Help me ask him where Christ collected tithe. Ask him where did Christ collect tithe. Did he hear him? Um, no, to be honest. Okay, he's asking you. It's the last day of the week. Ada, Ada, Ada. I want to say something. Ada, I want to say something before you go. Ada. Okay. Hello. Yes, Daddy Chris. Uh -huh, I want to say something. Brainwashed guy. Yes, I can hear you. you want to make case for Chris for okay. tithe that does not exist inside scripture. Eh? Okay. You okay. want to make you want to make case. I'm showing you. Shabi, you say people that don't tithe, things will be tight for them. I'm showing you a human being that made more money than a whole country. Without tithing. And nothing is tight for him. Elon Musk is good. Same thing with Zuckerberg and Gates and all these people. Stop. Let, you see, they've lied to you up until now. Are you not tired of listening to the lies? Christ did not collect tithe. The disciples who were our first pastors never collected tithe. The only people that collected tithe were the Levites. And it was an old Jewish system that has been abolished in the book of Hebrews. Go and read Galatians chapter 2 verse 11 where Paul scolded Peter. He said, you and I have abandoned the Jewish laws. Why are you putting the Gentiles under the law? Meaning that even during biblical times, Peter and Paul were not subjecting themselves to the rigors of the old Jewish system, which included tithing. Matthew chapter 23 clearly tells us that tithe is part of the law. Hebrews chapter 7 also tells us that tithing is part of the law. So what are you telling me? And this is a good opportunity for people to wake up. You wasted all your money on religion last year. You want to do it again this year. Did he remove coronavirus? Every day my DM is full of people begging me for money. They cannot eat. They, meanwhile, the pastors that they are giving their tithe to, they cannot go and make a one on herself on a new year with you. Make a use Elon Musk. They borrow brain. Ada, you have to say something. I'm not the only one okay. that's going to say something now. I hand over to you. Okay, um, with, with that being said, not like, okay, let me not speak for let me speak for myself. I am not saying you should not believe in God. But Nobody is saying you should not believe in God, though. We all believe in God, though. Me, I preach God, though. Right, right. But where I have a problem is, instead of using your time judiciously, looking for what to do to better your life and that of your family and the people around you, you are going spending it in the building, believing that some miracle is going to fall from the sky. No, no, going to have to say it's don't drop anymore. People are using their time, they're using their resources, they're using their brain, God, even given brain. So I think this year is the year for us to wake up and um, while we believe in God, let's work and make profits. Let's work and better our lives and stop believing in miracles, stop believing in one mysterious money coming from Someone telling you you are blessed, you're gonna be prosperous, and all of that. Thanks for that word. So, big shout out to all the people doing it. Elon Musk, we're proud of you. I am, particularly my crush. Okay, daddy, friend. All right, take care. <laughs> Thanks for breaking the table. <laughs> <laughs>